Hey Normski, welcome. Looks like you're number one for turning up. Right, let's get this thing out of here. May as well have a look at it. Andrew, Mikhail. Oh, okay, it looks like they've just left the fans in there for the sake of being diagnostic fans. Now this does suffer, the Spina 2915, it does suffer the GPU issue, but we're not even getting to the point where the GPU issue is coming into play, so we need to get there first before we can worry about that, because unfortunately, and it is, as it is currently, it um, you can't apply the fix for it unless you use the um the one that i get from harold cmi zapper one okay let's just throw this in the ground actually not really throw it just put it down Ow. let's see if we need some phillips head action here and hopefully we will remember to replace this before I put it all back into the chassis because all too many times I have put it back together and forgotten the speaker. It's very disappointing when I do that. Okay, that is super sloppy. Super nasty sloppy. Sloppy sloppy, very sloppy. It shouldn't be that sloppy. Hmm, okay. Alrighty. So, anybody doing training with Tim at Jess's place? Catching up with Lewis? It's kind of like a nice upside of spending the money to get training. You get training and you get to see Lewis. Well, well yeah. Whether that's an upside, I suppose, is debatable, but yeah, we'll assume it is. Okay, and I need. <sighs> Where is everything? Honestly, I take a few days off work and then my workshop magically doesn't get rearranged. Now I've forgotten where everything is. Ah, there we go. I just wanted a uh, chipmunk. Uh, Nick, Kenny, Pritchard, Coda, how's it going? Ah, oh, Miles, you would have gone, eh? Okay. Travis, are we even on the computer thing? What? What? I don't even know what that means. Pedro is a scammer, and I merely tolerate his presence. That's about as blunt as I can get. Yeah, that just fried the living daylights out of my... Yeah, something very unhappy about that. It just killed my thingy jig. Uh, that is a very bad, very dirty mag safe. That's that's a bad mag safe. Uh, let's find another one. That's probably not going to be a match. We'll see what we can do. Just nothing zapped and blasted away. Okay, I need to just mark this one because it's going to get mixed up. Pedro would be disappointed in life if he wasn't a renowned scammer. He bases his existence on waking up each morning and checking his email account, expecting at least a few dozen howling emails about how he has wronged some people. If he doesn't get that, he feels like he's got no purpose in life. Yeah, I feel like I pretty much jacked up that uh, MagSafe. Oh, I know why that's not working. That's a MagSafe too. Dimwit. We want MagSafe 1. No wonder it fried it. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay, so we've got power coming through. Will we get green light? We need the blinky blinky. Doesn't look like we're going to get blinky blinky. What's the current? 430. It's running a little bit low for this machine. This machine should draw quite a bit more than 430. Yeah. And it's pretty much stuck on that. So let's see. What, what's getting warm? Yeah, PCH is getting warm. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look over the board. See what might be going on. It's not because I zapped it, it was dead already. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Roberto. But yeah, that PCH getting warm, that's not a good sign. I am getting an increasing number of boards just kind of in this dead zombie state and unfortunately being what they are the age and the fact that they've still got to be modified to make the GPU run it's getting hard to justify working on them but we'll see what we can find hey Vladimir now for those wondering you what sickness hit me, it was a case of, uh, by the looks of it, something, this is a really bad board, I've ingested something and it sincerely did not agree with me. I do, I have a predisposition to being sensitive to things like preservatives and what can often happen is you have a product that you are fine with for many years and this of course is a 2915 by the way um, it, like, that's not unusual to be broken off like that there you have a product that you've been fine with for many years and then the manufacturer decides to get a new CEO at the helm or something and they go let us change things around let's cut some costs and they do things like well we're going to change this preservative that was costing you two dollars a tonne to one that costs a dollar ninety a ton, we'll save some money, and no one will be any the wiser, except for people like me. And it's just like, like I, I don't know exactly what it was that I ate. I have my suspicions, but yeah, I don't know exactly what it is. But it just sort of started welling up as this tension in my midriff and then before I knew it I was in some serious trouble it felt like I was going to explode um, I was like that guy out of Monty Python Mr. Um, Creoste or whatever his name is and I could not move for about two or two and a half days I basically just had to lie in bed I couldn't sleep because everything was just uncomfortable I couldn't roll over I had to be helped out a bit you know it was just not good and I was getting close to calling an ambulance it was that bad. Okay, we've got some bad corrosion here on these decoupling caps for the CPU. Just seeing if any of those were shorted but they're not. Yes we don't need exploding poles especially because I wouldn't be able to yell out get a bucket you know bucket and that is truly a vile scene and it's made especially worse when you realize that there's genuine there are people genuinely vomiting in that scene. Yes, Mr. Creoso, or whatever he pronounced as. So, unfortunately, yeah, if you're ever considering sending me foodstuffs and things like that, I will have to apologize in advance that I'm getting to the point where I really wonder what the hell just happened here. Um, getting to the point where I really just can't risk it anymore because I've just lost three days worth of work and I'm still not out of the woods and work aside 
the stuff does have long-term damage implications and I really can't handle that so it's yeah it looks like I just can't go eating random things anymore I really have to restrict my diet that there's been broken off there should be another one there another half Barry West happened to me with an intestinal blockage and my son with a ruptured appendix. Holy damn, yeah. See, that's that's just nasty, you know. And it happens so quick. It just happens so quick. Like, I just get a twinge in the lower left quadrant, which is a pretty classic place for you to get pain as you get older. And um, then, yeah, before I knew it, I was in real trouble. Like I said, yeah, it, it's hard because you know you want to uh, try things that people send you and all that sort of stuff, and you, it just gets a little bit difficult because you're like, well, <laughs> toss up between me trying things and dying or getting feeling like dying. I mean, as it is, I've got to go to Townsville tomorrow, and that's going to be an interesting trip because I was driving in the car today, just a short trip. And it was very difficult to get in and out of the car because there's a narrow band of movements that I can perform before my body says, oh, hell no, you're not doing that. And it just instantly stabs me pretty hard. Okay, there's a bit of a nasty scratch there. I'm going to take this heat sink off. I have a feeling there's something under here. Let's see, Barry West, yours is called by peanuts. Okay, you can't do, yeah, that's the thing, yeah, you start, okay, well, I'm fairly young still, yeah, I'm only 48 or whatever, something like that, 48, 49. But I'm definitely noticing that I have to restrict my intake on certain things. I, I love fruit, but fruit doesn't love me quite so much anymore, certainly not my liver. Yeah, just stuff like that. And yeah, I think what happens is if you do get a particular event occurring with a particular food type, then it's pretty much off your list because the next time that you consume it, you're probably going to have a more severe and more rapid reaction. Hey, Rad. Need to get more excited. Well, I do agree to that, Santo. I do agree to that. I'm definitely getting pudgy. I know it. I'm sitting at about 95 kilo. I probably weigh about two Lewis Rossmans. Alright, someone has reflowed this GPU, so it's basically. This board is trucked. Yeah. And, yeah, they, so I guess what they were hoping to do is disable the C GPU, but I think they may have gone too far. And now that it's been reflowed, it's probably shifted on its balls. And you know. So I, I don't know. This definitely. Yeah. This is basically a case of I cannot fix it. And there's junk under the CPU now. I'd be very surprised. And like I said, I'm worried about this here. So a scratch through the trace. Probably isn't, but. I'm being a little bit pedantic. Hey, Perkin. Is overall due to a huge gallstone? So two weeks after the emergency gall... Oh, wow. Yeah, no. See, that's one thing I'm trying to desperately avoid is having gallbladder removal. Every now and then I can feel something getting snagged and I'm like, come on, man, clear that gallbladder. I run myself into a tabletop edge or something like that and dislodge that ball. <laughs> no, do not do that. Do not take medical advice from me. Yeah, I'm going to say that this is a board that should not be worked on because that GPU has been messed with. The far greater, better option in this case is for me to just swap it with another 2915 that I've got, move the serial numbers across because this will be a waste of time. 
Yeah, that. Yeah, you can see they've cut through on this quite aggressively to get the edge bonding off. Now it's not to say that you know they've cut any traces. They probably haven't. But the point is, it's been handled pretty aggressively. I don't know what sort of temperature it's been put up to or anything like that. So we'll consider it dead. Joke, I have a 1286 doesn't take a hard drive, hard drive spins up when I boot from the, it loads up in the middle and shuts off. Uh, so even when you don't have a hard drive in it and you've got a USB stick and only gets to halfway and it dies, it's probably one of the mem uh, memory slots that have died. So often what happens in these 12 series boards is one of the slots will die and you have to go and double up your RAM in your other slot if you want to maintain the same capacity. Yeah, that, like I said, if that hadn't have been reflowed, we might have had a chance, but that's been reflowed, so that's off the, off the cards. Is Byte Gamer repeating that thing? I don't know anything about Motorola's screen. Sorry, Byte Gamer. So we'll just put the heatsink back on this and put it to one side. Yeah, Jim, I, um, like I said, I've got to go to Townsville tomorrow. My sleep patterns are all out. I thought I'd just get some quick things done. I've been busy all evening with coding. Hey, Promo. Promo knows about the coding I've been doing. He's seen the results of it. I've also, it's been a busy week and a half with board views. We've had quite a good run of new board views coming out. Some of them I've paid out of my own pocket for, some of them have just been generously made available, so I'm happy all around. And tonight I picked up some more fruity files, but they've still got a lot of work to do on them. But I'll give you a look at the fruity files. One in particular is like the, uh, I think it was the 7 Plus or the 8 that we never had before. Let me, let's see, schematics. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, the, the new boards that we've got, things are the 1949. There's two variations of the 1949. There's the BVR, which has the outline on it, or there is the BRD, which is the original one, and it doesn't have an outline on it. So I, I take the non outline one and I create an outline for it. So it's fantastic to have like the 49, what's the other one? The 87 was the other one. Yep, the 87. And again, BVR. The 87 is a bit like the 15, the 1950, 1598, whatever. Oops, wrong. And of course, we've got the Apple M1 boards, like the 2016, I think, was one of them. Yeah, so these are the M1 chip boards, and we've already got them now, which is actually amazingly quick. And this is through the very hard work of one particular individual who I'm trying my best to keep them compensated for the effort they put into it because basically they're having to go through and build these board view files manually. So they've been quite um, resourceful in how they've done that. So I'm very impressed with what they've done. So on the iPhones, no. I'm missing some That is not how you do it
Oh, there it was all the way. Yeah. So look, before we never had the iPhone 8. It was just an empty board. But now we actually do have it. And I am working on some tweaks to allow it easier for people to modify things. So we can turn off the fill and it basically just make it easy so we can take these raw data files that have quirks on them. These aren't really quirks, these are actually just shields and stuff that come up and you know, clean them up. And you can do things like move the part. Let's see. Am I gonna Let's see. Naturally, of course, it's not going to work on my setup here. Nope, decides that's not going to... Oh, well, anyway, the point is, yeah, I'm working on making it easier for us to be able to take kind of dodgy data and then make something good of it. I wonder if that one will work. No. Oh. oh well, doesn't matter. But we're getting there. So we've got um, quite a few files, and I've also got the XS and the XR to get done, but I've just been slack with them. Yeah. Okay, enough of that dribble drabble. Let's get back to the boards. So this 2915, it's basically just going to have to have the replacement sent. It's no good me trying to put any time into that. I will just simply waste my time. So I'm just going to put this back into the shelf. And I've got another one that's probably going to be a dead end. I just want to confirm it before I commit to telling them it's dead. Okay, I'm just going to go face view while I do this because it's got customer data on the back of it. Hey Damaris. Hey Greg. Jeez dude, it's past midnight. Not that I expect anyone to respect reasonable hours for loud things. What we have that you can't see is a 1465. Actually this one might even be a 13 something what is it 1390 or something like that the old 11 inches but we'll see it's got a three beat ram problem which almost always isn't really fixable in these but i could have the wrong board i could be presuming the wrong thing Doink. yeah it doesn't look at that okay Liquid damage to hell this one already. Been having a bad run lately of machines that I can't fully fix as at least not economically. I can fix the board, but then you find out that you know, the screen's dead or the deck's dead and stuff like that. Tony, no, we didn't get any of that earthquake. We do occasionally get little tremors up here. The sort of tremors where you actually think it's just yourself having a moment of vertigo as opposed to anything truly... Oh, what is in this thing? I hope that's not blood or anything. Now, yeah, it looks probably milk. 880. That's really not nice. It's already had a replacement keyboard. And yeah, this is the older style of S. How does this thing even get to the point where it can beep? Yeah, this has probably had milk spilled on it. 
and it's gonna smell bad when I start heating it up. I just know that for a fact. You can't spill milk on these things and not have it get a little bit stinky. Okay, MagSafe 2. Actually, this would be MagSafe 1, won't it? Yep. <laughs> Both of these are MagSafe... Jeez, dude, were you lapping? It's not even getting hot, but I can... That's the other thing, is I'm being sensitive to preservatives and things like that, I'm also very sensitive to smells. So if you ever want to disable me, just... Yeah. Throw something stinky my way. Or just perfume. Just perfume or deodorant. Well, Jim, that ESR meter, I've never had a use for them. I mean, I know they are useful, but I've usually gone about it different ways. Okay, this is not booting at all. Hey, Daniel, you bought your first SMC after eight. Oh, well, you know, eight's not too bad for the first time around. Alright, this is actually working, it's just on the moron working on it is not working because he didn't plug the screen back in. I really should have a sign up, moron at work. Yeah, smokers' computers are never much fun, I agree. This is why you wear gloves. Hey, 10 minute. Great. Alright, so this thing's booting and running, which is a problem. I'm just trying to think. Does someone want to check for me? It could just need an ultrasonic more than anything else. I'm just trying to think whether there's any point in reflowing the RAM in this one, but I have a feeling not. Most of these machines, it's too late. We'll have a look at the board number. I should be more like an absent minor professor, but I'm not. I'm something else. I forgot to check. Maybe I'm more like Farnsworth. Oh no, no. share in the glory of this. There you go. You all want some of that? You want some of that? And it's a refurb board too. this. It's like you'd throw the whole thing in the ultrasonic cleaner. And we've got a crawly um, if crawly is coming out, oh it's a spider, it's okay. Spiders are permitted.
This is somewhat unpleasant. Yes, Jim, gas masks. <laughs> Alright, yep, 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 mm-hmm, yum yum, oh, yeah, mm, no, yeah. How the heck does this thing even boot? Lewis Rossman, if you're out there, this is proof that your little statement about, look, MacBooks can die if one little bit of water gets on them, is a load of crud, and you know it. Look at this, this thing's been through hell and back, it's gone through Mordor and brought back half the lava pit with it the chocolate milk lava pit and it's still kicking I'd like to see your Lenovo do that and it's a refurb board I mean come on what more do you want? what more proof do you need that your statements are excessive and unjust Lewis doesn't care, he'll just blame the fact that it's in an Australia situation, so therefore what wouldn't work in the Northern Hemisphere does work in the Southern Hemisphere like magic. Compounded by the fact that my name is Paul Daniels and henceforth I'm just a reincarnated English magician. Yeah, I think this pretty much just goes straight into the ultrasonic. I can't see a better way out. Because I feel like as soon as I start messing around with this, the this like uh, what do you call it? Embalming fluid, as it were, will become start becoming conductive. Like I said, like there's trouble right there in the middle. Of it. That one there is different. That's see, that's distinct corrosion going on there. Yeah, exactly, Jim. The electrons will fall out. That's distinct corrosion there, so yeah, that would have to be fixed. But all of this stuff is more like it's just... It's natural conformal fluid. I'm just amazed that the SMC is kicking along. Yeah, it's junk under that. But the corrosion was there. This should not be booting according to certain so-called experts. But yeah, it's a rare for me to throw these things in the ultrasonic first. But I actually, to be fair, will probably wash this down first before I even ultrasonic it. I feel like if I put it in the ultrasonic, I'll contaminate my ultrasonic tank. And it's 22 litres of ultrasonic in there, and I don't want to have to needlessly flush it. So yeah, I think I'll actually wash this with just um, water. And a bit of water and a bit of alcohol. Scrub it all down. Dakota, let's see. What did you just try to do? Reboard a donor south bridge and remove the f <laughs> It happens, it happens. Not a south I mean I've never done a south bridge, but I've definitely done things like SMCs and whatnot that way and sort of went, what the heck's going on? Particularly if you get a donor that's not too badly beaten up. And yeah, you go and fix up the wrong board. This um the now uh, I've got to find my paper towel here. Ugh. This is primarily just a water job, really is. Now the question is, ah, oh, crikey! Uh, I've left, damn it! I've left my distilled water in the windowsill, and now it's looking a bit like the board. That there is. My, that's my contribution to carbon capture. Yeah, that's going to have to be tossed out. Good 
put it under the garden hose, I tend to agree, Oscar. And after all this, we'll probably find that it is just a board that has a bad RAM issue. I mean, there's what, 16, yeah, 16 RAM chips there, and probably one of them's giving up, or it's the PCH that's actually giving up. Vodka would work, yes, because it's close to about 50% water in it. Actually, probably not that much. But I'm using 80% alcohol here. The reason why I'm not using pure alcohol is because it won't get the milk off. If you use pure alcohol, it will just, it won't do anything with that milk. It'll just sort of run over it, but it won't lift it up. It won't um, take it into solution so you can get it off the board. You've got to have the water component to get it into solution. You'll find after we've done this, it shouldn't work anymore. To be fair, I have seen people like Lewis work on boards that are even worse than this. Um, he services them in situ with all the junk on them. I prefer to take a different approach and yeah, we probably have sort of, I don't know, each their own. That's, that's coming up alright now, at least that side is. But, yeah, well, I don't think I'll be brushing my teeth tonight with that one, not tonight. Top side's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. Still give it a good scrubbo. Ach, niemand. Damn it. But yeah, the 80 20, it's a, it's a good mix. Or even, you know, 70 30 is fine too. I don't think there's, you can't really go wrong with either sort of, anything from about 60% up, I wouldn't go any more than about 85%, at that point you really do start to lose the ability to pick up the water soluble trash. Hey Micromage. And like I said, most likely we're going to find out this board is the sort that if, it got, if it's got a 3 beef issue, it's basically the end of the road. Personally, I don't know how the keyboard or anything else is going to function, but we'll see. Alright, now that we've done the scrub with the 8020 to dislodge most of the H2O soluble stuff, we're going to use some 100% or 99.98% flat it over. 
they'll get rid of the water if there was any That's full of the trash. Yeah, I admin, mean, I'm actually feeling the same way. I do like my 2015 things like 1398s, 1502s, and you know, even my 2017 1466. But I am getting, I think I'm ready to move up to some newer machine now. Maybe it's just me finally succumbing to the call of the Apple, the Apple um, Pied Piper. I'm not sure. Okay, let's give this a bit of a blow. This is trying to get all the liquid out from underneath the CPU and the PCH, the MCP. Because while the board can generally handle a fair bit of liquid on it, when it gets in under the P CPU and the MCP, PCH and even the RAM, that's when it can start to cause weird issues. It's not water in the spray that's causing that, that's water underneath the chips. I'm gonna do the SMC. Uh, DJ Craze is it I've got a um, I've got a dedicated couple of members who like to make sure that I'm reminded that I'm loved everywhere and that people are willing to take the time out to say hello even when they don't like me. You know, I mean what more can you ask for they like? You know, I don't like this guy Paul Daniels, but I'm gonna go and let him know that I don't like him because I like him. Yeah, it's great. It's nice of people to do that. If they truly, truly didn't like me that either hit that down button twice to really, you know, set their vote, or they just not bother coming around at all. They just go, ah, screw them and get on with their own lives. Instead, they take the time out of their day, interrupt their breakfast, just to sort of let me know. Alright. Let's give some hot air loving. One of them is probably Lewis, yes. That probably makes sense. Lewis would find that comically amusing. His sense of juvenile humour. At least some people I can respect, like Jason Vilmer, I can respect his attention to detail and minuscule applications of flux on a toothpick and his absolutely zany theories about everything that entertains us all okay obviously this board is not truly actually baked dry but it's enough for me to get in and have another look now hey james ewing Right, so yeah, see, it wasn't a full clean up job. There's some gnarly bits there still. Looks like puke central. Yeah, some gnarly bits still. Yeah, we've got most of it off, but there's probably still too much on there. Like this all cis power good, so I'm pretty sure this is all cis power good. 
just based on the shape of that chip. So I think at this point I will throw it in the ultrasonic, but that's not going to happen tonight I'm afraid folks. Because I do have to now get prepared for tomorrow. Now let's find out what board number this is. Like I said, there may be no real point. Yeah, see it's all caked up in here. But that's something like I said, the ultrasonic can get rid of that. And now the JTAG's kind of messed up. The more you look, the worse it gets. Cracky, where is the board number on this one? Sorry if I'm going fast, I just... starting to panic. No, seriously, where is... Not under there. Feel free to shout out if you see the board number. I won't hear you, but... Uh, Tony, I'm... Mostly just the stand. I just stick with the basic one. Actually, maybe it's under here with the HEFE. I don't know why they'd do that, but... Yep, there we go. I just need Pionov to come in and tell me that this is a waste of time. 3024. They don't normally stick it on there. just googling to see whether this one is the one that is constantly no good to repair or whether it's the because I think the 23 is the uh, that'll be the 13 inch version the 24 will be the 11 inch version let's see Oh, Pionov is here. Pionov! Um, um, 3024, is it serviceable? Or is this one of the ones that have the PCH type failure or the MCP failure and it's basically the end of the road?
23 is the bad one. 24 doesn't seem to fail as much, but might because there's much less. Yeah, that's always possible. Alrighty. Because, yeah, I've basically given up on the 23s. Uh, Sandy, uh, well, here we go. Lewis's comment on this sort of board. Uh, Sandy Bridge Airs are the shittiest boards to fix. The, that's Lewis's actual words. Here we go. From 2016. Of course, yeah, I mean, this is the 11 inch. You know, maybe it's not quite the same as the 13 inch, but I'd say, dare say they're probably similar. And look, to be honest, given the amount of damage on the rest of the machine, I would say it's probably a bad idea for me to try and resurrect this because chances are I might get the board to work send it back and then five days later it's going to be the keyboard's going to die or something like that so yeah I'd pretty much consider this write-off type status which is unfortunate but yeah pretty much until you get to the 2013 series for the airs the rest of them I prefer not to really deal with anymore yeah all right then well listen I'm gonna finish up for tonight Sorry it wasn't a uh, long or interesting stream, but I thought I'd just say hello, let people know I wasn't completely dead, just um, partially dead. And hopefully tomorrow we'll go alright, I've got a busy day, I've got to go get myself a new mattress, got to get myself a couple of glass tables, got to get myself, I've got to fix a 1932 MacBook on the fly. Hopefully I'll remember to give somebody the items that I've been holding for a month and I forgot to give to them last time I was in Townsville. I'm going to probably spend way too much money at Bunnings and I'll probably harass the local Apple shop as well. So, and hopefully I'll be back before night time. Really hope. Okay, I'm out of here. Thank you all. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Hopefully with something more interesting. Until then, you'll take care. See you later.